what's up guys welcome back to way of the hunter today first off i want to go and we have a mission to where we're supposed to kill three white teal from a deer stand and so i'd like to do at least one of those if i can i'm gonna try and then uh we'll continue doing some management along the way or whatever we need to do i'd also saw when i came in today that there's an update so there's supposed to be <clears throat> excuse me so there's supposed to be five new tasks and i'm not exactly sure what those tasks are or how to uh locate what those tasks are anyways so maybe we'll run into that i don't know if it's here or on transylvania or what but anywho we're gonna head over here we have the little area that we were at last time there's a hunting stand over there i think i'll go get in that stand and uh see what kind of luck we can have so i was traveling along here trying to get this stand and i'd come across another location right off into the woods there where uh whitetail had been eaten off and so that's good information to have we'll have to keep that in mind because uh that's gonna be important for us to be able to get our five star i imagine <clears throat> i say that anyway if that group right there is you know one of the ones that we even start tracking pretty often i don't know i don't know what the best course of action is really is it good to try and focus on just a couple of herds or you know just broaden out and try and find a lot of them i'm not sure i don't know how many herds there actually are that's another question too and i'm thinking that this area over here is about the only area that has the white tail but i don't know we'll have to find out and see we'll get that five star at some point that's for sure and so we have the holidays coming up and uh i'm curious what do you guys do for the holidays oh that was a weird light transition yeah what do you guys do for uh for the holidays i know me and my family we do like you know the basic traditional stuff santa claus and all that oh i've already scared something i'm jabbering what is that i think that's mule deer but uh yeah anyway let me know in the comments what y'all do i'm curious it's always neat to know uh how other people celebrate the holidays so that may have been whitetail that i scared I don't think I would have ever seen them anyway, so I didn't really I wasn't really hunting that hard. I was just kind of walking along, walking down this road. I was coming up to this stand right here. But I think I may have missed our opportunity cuz that would have been perfect actually. I came at it from the wrong way. I made a big loop all the way around and I shouldn't have done that, I guess. And it scared me. Alright, let's see. Let's get up this stand. Maybe we can get eyes on those other ones. On those uh, white tail. I'm pretty sure it was white tail anyway. If we can, we can probably still make a shot. Have a look and see. That'd be good. Let's see if we can find them. Oh, well, yeah. I think that's them right there, isn't it? Oh, that's mule deer. I was wrong okay that's fine well don't we have a we've got a mission for mule deer also is it worth doing i mean that could be a little easier let's see uh what do we have deer management right here okay and this says harvest five mule deer bucks with a fitness score of at least 40% either adult or mature. Okay. So. Uh, that's a two star mature. Here's a one char, one char, it's a one char mature, one star mature. So I'm guessing that he's more likely to have a lower fitness rating. 
And there's another one there. Okay. So let's give that a shot and see. Uh, how far is that? Uh, 226. They're all 1903 out. It's 226 and we're zeroed in at 219. That is very close. And... Go. that should have been a decent shot I figured anyway hmm I'm gonna watch these guys and see where they go I'm gonna put a mark over there that'll give us an idea at least about where they're at Right, well, just jump out of the dang deer stand there. Break my legs. Okay, let me head over here and see. Where was this guy? They were right there, weren't they? Yeah. Get across the water here and then check it out. And hopefully we made a decent shot. I feel like we did. I mean, the placement was fine. Okay, so I, you'll have to tell me what I did wrong because small amount of blood, animals survive. How in the world did that deer survive that shot where we hit it at? That's a little wild. All right, whatever. We know about where they went, uh, and I heard some kind of in this direction a minute ago, some more mule deer, or was it up here? I think it was right up there. Anyway, so we'll try and hunt them down, I guess. That's crazy. That's crazy right there. That should have been... That should have been no problem. We were using the 30 out six. It was 226 yards. Should have been more than enough to be able to, you know, take that deer down. Oh well. On we go. Uh, so I snuck up on them pretty close, as you can see. 40 to 60 yards away, right on the other side of this little heal I can hear him walking let me get this zoned in like for close range here we're fixing to have one pop right up in our face there he is right there all right y'all saw that that was dead on his chest Okay. He was right in our face. Shot him directly in his chest. Nothing. Nothing at all. Yes, yeah, so... I think what I'm going to do is just go back to the... Thought I heard something. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go back to the lodge. I'm going to wait till tomorrow and get a fresh start and try again. And I'm going to swap out that other gun because apparently it's useless at this point. So let me know if anybody else is having the same issue with that gun. If anybody wants to test it or anything like that. I may actually, uh, on the way back, I may test it again on something just to see what happens. I'm not sure. Uh, my luck, it'll probably work then. But something's definitely wrong with it. Has to be. Because that first... That first shot was well placed. I say well placed. It was well enough. I know that. It got me second guessing myself. Um, and then the other one was... I mean, he was in front of us. He was in our face. 
we put it right on his chest. There's no way we could have missed that. There would have been some blood at least, but nothing. You couldn't even see the hit mark or whatever. Oh yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back, get some rest, and we'll start fresh in the morning. I'm getting kind of aggravated. <laughs> All right, guys, it is morning. Fresh start, ready to go. And I guess I can just go back and do what I had originally planned to do. Just go get on the deer stand and try and get us a whitetail from that point. Um, I did swap guns. I say I swapped guns. I still have my the 338, which I should have used to start with, I guess. I like using the different guns, you know, but if, uh, you know, they'll have to make sure that they get the stuff worked out to where you can use them. But I got a shotgun instead because the next time one of those damn pheasants scares me, I'm killing it. They drive me nuts. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna get in the Jeep and drive down there instead of walking. Because if I'm gonna scare them, I'm probably gonna scare them either way. Hmm. We scared some mule deer. And I was just looking. Well, I don't think that's gonna work. So I'm like a I can't focus on one thing. I get distracted by something and it's just like it catches my attention and then there I am. Anyway, I was thinking maybe that I could uh, turn around and maybe get a shot on one of them, but I kind of lost them. So I'll just stick to... What? Where? There's, there's mule deer everywhere right here. We just had a herd that was scared right there. There's another one right behind us. They're just asking for it. They're asking for it. Okay. All right. All right. Well, well let's do this then. How's our wind? Our wind's pretty good. Okay. I was trying to do something a little different this go around. So I know like in the last episode, all we did was kill some whitetail and some mule deer, but well, I mean, technically, we're in the same area. I'd have to go to a different area, I guess. But it's kind of my own fault. But I'm trying to get these missions done. Okay. Let's see. Let us see. Get our call out. May as well use that. That worked really well. I was super surprised. It called that... It called that deer right in. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. What is that? A pheasant? I hate. Uh, let's see. Low fitness males. That's perfect for that. Okay, where are they at? It said, what, 220 yards? Something like that? So they're... Ooh, hello. Okay. That's really close. I wish... I wish that indicator wasn't so big. It... it abs Wait, hold on. There's more. Wait, I'm confused. Okay. Yeah. I wish it wasn't quite as big. It's pretty obstructive. I do like that there is an indicator, but I don't think that it needs to be that big. Let's do this. Did I just see one move, or was that just a tree right there in front of us? It may have been a tree. Sit here for a second and see if that uh, 
the call works. So it's only supposed to work for low fitness males, so if one doesn't come, theoretically, it's not a low, low enough level. How far? 80 to 100? Let's try it again. Where's that one? He's got to be like right there in that tree in front of us. Yeah, there he is right there. Just saw him. Um, is that him through? Yeah, that's him. I can't see him very well, though. He's... Holy. They're so close. Ha ha ha. Hello. All right. Uh, yeah, see, that's, that's gotta be low fitness, right? Call is amazing. Uh, 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 Easy there, partner. Slow it down there, buddy. See, that, that is what's supposed to happen when you shoot them right there. That's good stuff right there. What are... It'd be nuts if that worked. Man. See, I thought I was losing my mind for a second. Because when stuff like that happens, I always think that it, you know, it's still the potential there that it's, that's, it's my fault. So, it was just bothering me. I don't see where they're running away any. So, I don't know. Okay, let's check him out and see what we have. We know it was a mature... Yeah, so... With the one shot that we shot that the one deer, it should have gone in the chest about right here. Which would have hit either one of the lungs or that artery. That main artery right there. Either one of them. Okay. And the other one, we shot it right here. It was right behind the shoulder, about midway up the body is where we were aiming. And so that would have hit both lungs. Okay. I feel better about that now because... I was like, okay, did I have my anatomy messed up or what? But, yeah. So, most definitely, both of those shots that we did should have been a kill shot. Alright, let's see here. What do we have? Yeah, check it out. 36.21%. So, we'll go ahead and sell this guy. And that should count towards our goal. Yes, it did. Perfect. Perfect. Light at the end of the tunnel. I guess I could have paid attention to see where those guys were going, but I've been putting a lot of pressure on them, so I'm not going to bother them anymore. You know, I wonder I wonder if this is the game's way of teaching you how to cull the bad ones. That way you can make your herds better. I mean, makes sense. I'm assuming that's kind of what it is. Ooh, so we have some whitetail up there. The only problem is, is that, let's see. Uh, yeah, there's not a deer stand anywhere near that. This is the closest one. 260 yards away. Mm. Now there are, there is a trail right there too. So I'm assuming... That group is the same one that's following this trail. And if that's the case, they should come in this direction at some point. 
So if I want to get this done, I think the only option I have is to just get in the stand and uh, be patient and hope for the best. Probably what I'll do. I'll hop up in the stand and, uh, I don't know, watch some YouTube videos or something. You know, typical stuff that you do when you're hunting. <laughs> These days, anyway. Used to, you just sit there and twiddle your thumbs. Now there's entertainment. But anyways, uh, that tree might be an issue. So I'll climb up in this stand and hopefully we can, hopefully we can get a white tail taken. Just take a second to admire, admire this. It still looks really good. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that deal, and especially, I know, like guys or whatever. For me, it's kind of like when if you're married and you you look at your wife. It's like you know, just every once in a while, you get that wow. You know what I'm talking about. Just every once in a while you look and it's like, wow, beautiful. And that's kind of the same way that I get with this game. So just every once in a while, because you get used to it, you know? You get used to it and then just, bam, out of nowhere, you get kind of a shock realizing it, you know? What was that? What is that? Is that a badger? I'm assuming that's a badger making that noise. But anyway, not to get too deep on y'all, but that's kind of what uh, I was getting at. It's just shocking how beautiful that this game is. Let's see what this is. Uh, I bet you anything that's mule deer. I can't tell with my binoculars, but maybe... Maybe I'll be able to see their horns. Uh, can't tell with the female. Oh, now I know those are white tails, so I'm not gonna risk that. I'm. I bet you that that's mule deer. E yes, that is mule deer. That's still cool, though. Look at that. Huh. Alright, so we know we have our wet tail. Wet, wet tail. Shut up, badger. Where are you even at? Are you, like, right below my deer sand right now? Go away. Go away. There's always some little... Ooh, hello. Hello. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these are white tail. Now, what do we have? Adult male. Adult male. Mature, there we go. This is the one we want. See, he's only a two star. This guy right here. How far are they? 219, 210 yards. I have to be 100% sure that I don't mix this shot up. He's still feeding. He's still feeding. We're at 109. Bump that to 219. And send it. That's what I'm talking about. What? Oh, there's a fox. You too. That was... That was probably... Unnecessary, but <laughs> he was getting on my damn nerves. All right, I'm kind of salty today. I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm always a little salty, but uh, it's so extra salty today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. It's been crazy lately, so just. Non-stop busy. Let's see. 
but not last night, but the night before that, stayed up till two o'clock in the morning working on, well, that other video for that computer. So I was working on that video and everything, and uh, the computer ended up having like a couple little issues, like the one of the fans that was in the case was bad, and I ended up having to replace it, and um, the the IO shield that the guy sent with the motherboard that I put in there was the wrong IO shield, so I had to take a Dremel and make it where it would work, and it was uh. It was a little bit of madness, but anyway, yeah, by the time I did that and edited the video, it was 2 o'clock in the morning. So, oh, look at that. What was this guy? Anyway, let's have a look. Oh, it was a female. Got, got $2. We are living the high life. But anyways, yeah, so I'm just a little tired and salty. We're going to go up here and we'll grab our whitetail. It's awesome. Oh, I need to change. I'm just, I'm bouncing all over the place rambling. Let's see. Uh, change our objective. Which one was it? This one. Yes. Activate. There we go. Also, what time is it right now? It's nine. So basically nine o'clock is when we shot that deer. Okay, so that being, wait, harvest three white-tailed deer shot from hunting. I'm hoping that this counts. Hopefully this wasn't, hopefully this didn't need to be um, active when we took the shot. Let's see. He was right over here, correct? Yes. Here he is. Alright. So. What was he? Pretty bad fitness rating. Let's sell him and see. Did that count? That did count. Awesome. Awesome. Good deal. Good deal. So that worked. I'm happy with that. I'm actually really happy with that. I was surprised. I didn't think you... I, I was thinking that it was going to be a lot more difficult. Especially considering the, the start that we had at the beginning of this video. So, I think I think now I just want to go... I think I want to go to kind of... What I'm going to do is I'm going to look on the map and I'm just going to pick a campsite. I'm going to go to that campsite and then the first thing that we run into, we're going to check it out and maybe we can get something harvested. Uh, okay, so... I just spawned in. You could probably see the, the the textures are still loading. Look at this. There's stuff right here. What what is? Okay, it's mule deer. Two star mature. This is nuts. Okay, let me swap objectives real quick and go back to deer management. Okay. I mean, it's falling in our lap now. Now we're just having good luck. I think the game knew I was talking about it. Uh, right there. Yep. Uh, this gun is just perfection. Absolute perfection. It's never let me down. It's like if you hit a deer or any animal with this gun, it's yours. Well, I mean, of course, if you hit it in the right spot. It's like if you hit it in the right spot with this gun, it seems like 95% of the time it drops them. Just drops them. That's crazy. This is a really nice spot. Huh. I just bounced straight to it. And I was just looking around and said, okay, I'll pick this campsite. And bam, here we are. All right. Uh, let's check him out. I'm curious to see how the bullet does in this go around. 
Yeah, it's just, it's got so much power that it just goes. Look at that. Both lungs. Artery. And it just about comes out the other side. Such a good gun. All right. Yeah, check that out. Sell it. There's three of five. Hey, we're getting closer. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So I had no intention of doing that, just so you know. But that was just one of those deals. Like I said, y'all saw the textures loading in. But that does happen every once in a while. You'll load into a, a location and then there'll just be animals right there. It's kind of cheeky. But, so, what about, uh, I think I want to try that one more time, different location, though, because I was intending on looking for something besides mule deer, because we've been giving them hell. All right, I'm going to do it again and see if I can find a different location that doesn't have mule deer and stuff somewhere else further away on the map. All right, we just dropped in here. This was, I think there's like sheep and stuff here. Textures load in. Okay. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Jesus. So. I, I mean, I, I, I can't say anything. I mean, what can I say? They're just, they're here. The wind's blowing though, so they're probably gonna run off. What do we have? What do we have? I can't see that. That one right there is a hoss. Three star. We're supposed to harvest a four star bighorn sheep. Are these goats too? Or am I, oh, that's the females, okay. Uh, young male, young male. I think these guys have a lot of potential. They're young one stars. But, what's making noise over here? Oh, it's a goat. Oh, you're gonna die, buddy. I bet anything that that herd... One of those one stars right there is probably going to end up being pretty good. Maybe. I don't know. Shouldn't they be like a two star? They're young. Dropped them. Let's see. Oh, that was a bad shot. My bad. I figured I would take one just to kind of see. Just to get an idea. But. I don't think that was the three star, was it? Mm. I may be wrong. I'll go down here and look at this. This uh, goat. And then see about that sheep. I don't know if that was... A good enough shot to take it though I mean it wasn't a very good shot but see that's what's gonna happen though I talk I talk the I talk about the gun being so great that I make a bad shot and it's not gonna work <laughs> all right here's this guy here we'll have a look at him we got a big big old fluffy thing um, overview. All right, thirty-six. Yeah, he's below forty. Sell him. Good deal. Okay, now let's see if we can find the blood. Uh, yes. Let's see what it says. Yeah, he's gonna die. We'll be able to find him. I'm just gonna take a minute to track him down. Well, that's good. That makes me feel better. That way I can at least see. I hope it wasn't a three star. I'm hoping it was one of the young one stars. That way I can kind of tell 
to see the fitness rating of it as a one star because I want to know if the young ones if it's going to be if it's going to be a five star mature animal does it start out as a one star being young or does it work its way up or does it start out as a two star or even a young three star or something like that you know what I mean so anyways so that's what I want to see so I'm trying to figure out I'll get this thing tracked down real quick I know one thing this is the perfect time of day to do tracking because that it just glows it lights up so nice you can see really well like I said before during the day it makes it really hard Okay, I think we found him finally. I'm curious to see how far that he traveled. That's a pretty good ways. It was, uh, of course, we got a gut shot on him because we shot him from behind. But let's have a look and see. I don't know where the other ones went. They can't be. Yeah, they're right there. I was going to say, there's no way they can be very far. They're right on the other side of that ridge right there. Okay... I think I shot the wrong one. I did shoot... Oh, I'm so stupid. Goodness gracious. This is the one that we needed to stay alive. I should have... I should have paid more attention to the horns. I was in a hurry. Good lord. Alright. Well. What's done is done. How far did he go? Uh... Where does it say that? It says it somewhere, right? Hunt. Yeah, this is. It went almost 300 yards that he went. Okay. Market price: a dollar 41 per pound. Lost by shot: 118 pounds. All right. Dang, that sucks. That was a really, really bad call. Oh well. Win some, lose some, right? So, what are we going to do now? I'm curious to see these guys. I want... You know what? I'm not even going to mess with them. I'm going to end up making it worse. I was thinking that I still wanted to see what one of those one stars fitness rating looked like. But if I mess up and kill one that has a good fitness rating and the other ones don't, then the chances of us being able to, you know, get this herd in a good position is bad. And this is a, this is a decent spot, I guess, um, for them. Because there's our water right there, and there's a, a hunting stand there, and everything else. So I get this is a really good spot for the sheep and for the goats. So I need to pay close attention to it and take it easy over here. I think that I think that if if, if we play our cards route that right, that this location right here we'll be able to get a five star sheep and a five star goat out of it pretty pretty easily compared to uh, other locations because once they're in this pocket here it's like a bowl pretty much and once they're in this little bowl right here then if they do run or whatever they typically don't go too far they just you know they might run up the side or something like that but they're still in this general location so yeah well Anyway, I think it was a pretty good one. I'm, I'm still, I'm still frustrated with that gun. I really like that gun too. It's really cool, but it's definitely not working right. Hopefully they'll fix that. They just had that new update, and it seems like every time they do an update, they they fix stuff, but stuff gets broken along the way when they do it. 
All right. I think I'm going to call it here. Thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe. I hope y'all have a great day, and goodbye.